the, the stare I got when I said Parmigiano. <laughs> <laughs> Stand on? Yeah, I don't really stand on it anymore. It's, this is like, you know. <laughs> is this the board that gets the uh, the thing? Yeah. Like, is that the spot you always aim for? Well, I had to, I, I had to change it up, uh, like sometime the beginning of this year, and now it's literally like chipping away, <laughs> like you're, you're hacking at it. So I tell people, don't ever do well, what you gotta I'm doing. Let, you gotta let me try one. I'll let you try it. All right, let's do this, man. All right, ding dongs. You come into my kitchen, you need a little towel on you. Oh, we do? Where do we put it? Where do you, where do you recommend? Shoulder? Uh, you put it you wherever you waist? like. Oh, anywhere. You, you put it anywhere you Anywhere. Like. How, you look so cool. Yeah. That's the whole idea, right? You don't want to look That's like the only that. point. That's the only reason why we're here is to try to look cool. The loincloth look is very... Yeah. I should take my pants surprised off. surprised you're pulling it off so one. well. All right. Yeah, the shoulder's a good look. Yeah. Uh, I look like I know so, what I'm doing. All right. We got Jordan. We got Felix here. I met these guys at 368 earlier this year. Felix has a great YouTube channel. Your YouTube channel is interesting because you like a, you're like a goofball in real life. <laughs> I feel like, and your channel feels so like thoughtful, and purposeful. And if King has taught us anything, it's that it's your hopes and passions that people resonate with. It may be your hard work and dedication and willingness to step up that gets you that audience. But it's your dreams that will set you apart. And, yeah. And, and serious. And why? I just want to keep people guessing. I don't want people to ever see the real me. Uh, this well, right you're, here. You're doing a good job. Facade. So tell me about your podcast. So our podcast explores stuff that we used to do when we were kids. And a lot of that stuff still bleeds over into what we do now as adults. And we talk about the juxtaposition of those two things. And at the end of each episode, we decide if the thing we're talking about that particular episode was better when we were kids or if it was better it's better now. So things like uh, staying up late, or um, visiting family, visiting family, traveling, various holidays, uh -huh. snacks as a kid, snacks. You never know. Which is why they're here. They basically came from out of town and asked uh, if I'd be on their podcast, which we're gonna do later today. Mm -hmm. So I said, why don't you come over to the show and we'll do some cooking. So that's wow. what we're doing. So on the podcast, we're gonna be talking about just the overarching snacks. theme is just snacks. Snacks as a kid. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I thought I'd have them on and make, you know, a classic childhood dish, which is pasta. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we do a lot of pastas on this di on this show. What we're going to do today is pasta arrabbiata. 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 You can do that. Arrabbiata. We have a lot of Italians We're offending so many people oh, yeah, yeah. Literally no, 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 I'm so sorry. Much. I'm going to apologize in advance for everything that we say in here. Yeah. Okay. Basically what it is, is we're building upon weekday sauce. Hmm. It's that simple. Yeah. And all it really requires is the addition of chilies. In this recipe, you'll usually find dried red chili flakes, which is definitely an appropriate thing to use for this recipe. But I've got some Calabrian chilies packed in a jar, which I think will be make this dish much better than using fresh chilies. Using these fiery little chilies, which are so delicious, get a little flavor. Am I eating taste, it or am I licking no, it? No, just get, it's really spicy. It? Am I, get, what am I doing? Just why am I, am I touch it? it? And this feels very intimate right now. You're gonna get an idea of what. Can it I look like. at you in the eye when I do it? Look at me, Oh my god, you guys! Me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's very hot. Whoa, that just hit me. Look at this word. Is this camera rolling? Oh, that was like a no, time bomb. Here. What is this word? <laughs> what? Is that? What? <laughs> Please. I'm not I even gonna try. Go. Anyway, do you? Wow. That, you guys want to try one? I think I'm okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> And we have some nice sweet tomatoes in a can that we're gonna use. So there's gonna be a little balancing happening. I think that that's enough. I mean, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend this. 
So we're gonna add this to our garlic and basil and oil, and that spiciness is gonna infuse the oil and end up infusing the tomatoes later on. All right. You made weekday sauce before. I did. Have you? No. Good. <laughs> so now you're gonna learn something. Learn something. Let's just blend this up real quick. I'm just gonna throw these peppers in, take the stems off. I'm just gonna figure out every place you're gonna be and I'm gonna be. <laughs> Behind, behind. I'm gonna throw some olive oil in, sort of loosen it up so it can kind of blend into a little mesh. Looks fire. That's a fun color. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. Oh! <laughs> I mean, it just looks like, like ground up peppers in buffalo sauce. <laughs> it does. It's the like exact color <laughs> of buffalo. So now we just have garlic. We're gonna cut the garlic up like we normally cut garlic yeah. for pasta. You know, the thing that we all know how to do. I mean- I know how to do it. Yeah. You wanna, you wanna watch? Why would you, you actually, me? if you actually watch the show, you would know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First, I uh, cut it in half. Makes it really easy to peel. Have you seen the metal bowl trick? Does that work? You don't need a metal bowl. Yeah, that's what I told you. Get out of town. That's what I told you. That's what I said, Mr. Metal Bowl. Just comes off. You don't have to, it's not like a, Rocket science. When did you realize that slicing was better than smashing? I think uh, Goodfellas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, he said there's a good system he had with slicing the garlic. All right, so you got your garlic cloves, and then you just go ahead. Do you know how to chop safely? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> okay. What's your safety tip? How do I not maim myself? It's good with garlic, right? Because it's so small. Yeah. You've got to take take your middle finger like this and then like just exaggerate it to practice. Yeah. Pinch these fingers together and like that. So they're always out of the way. A lot of people might Have put their thumb. thumb out, you know, and they get you like that. You really want to get everything out of the way. Yeah. And so I would like pinch the end of the garlic like this. Just to kind of stabilize it. And use my middle finger as a guide. Oh, you're against the blade? And then I'm gonna curve my middle finger in like that so that my knife, if you could see, there is a gap. And unless I go up super high and come down, yeah. it's the only way I'll ever cut my my finger. Knuckle. So if I just yeah. do this, and then this is a, a slap chop, that's a, a an advanced level, but if you just do this, So now it's your turn. On the spot. So we're doing middle finger. Yeah, you are. Right there. So first off, like, take your finger out. Yep. And get your body in. It's get almost in an athletic stance. Get in there, Jordan. <sighs> get, get psyched. Someone quote varsity blues to me. Um, I don't want your life. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now. I'm gonna go put some whipped cream on my leg again. Push Logan. forward. <laughs> there you go. Make sure you get the butt of the knife hits the bottom. So go slow. Yep. Try and get it really slow, nice slices. There you go. You gotta pick it up. up. Get, in, get in the flow. Ooh, this is getting really really close. Now what do I do? Show me the way. You, you learn to be able to control it, right? So I can yeah. kind of... And then you're, you're almost using your nail as, yeah. a, as a protectant. That's actually enough, I think. Yeah? We're good with that. Now... <clears throat> now, you really want good tomatoes. That's the that's the biggest key here. As you're gonna see with these tomatoes, they look and just smell delicious. And they're domestic. I remember that your other one, it, it, it actually said imported. Yeah, but these aren't. These are not. Like, come on, that it's all red. Oh, that like, smells ooh, so good! That's what you oh really want. Oh my gosh. Oh. You have to really go out and look for good tomatoes. Is, is that just trial and error? You try different ones? Yeah. What should I look for when I'm looking for tomatoes? If I'm looking well, for a can. You want to look for either Jersey tomatoes or California tomatoes if you're buying domestic or DOP yeah. from dope, Italy. Dope tomatoes. DOP is a dope. designation of origin. Okay. I have my food mill here. We're just gonna we're just gonna puree our tomatoes like we always do. And this really gets the best texture for a sauce. That's the best part right here. Ooh. Oh my goodies. Ooh. So now we have our pureed sauce. Beauty. I'm gonna get some 
fresh basil in my garden. Oh. Camera. You guys ready to make this or what? Let's do it. So this is what we got for our arrabbiata sauce. We've got our pureed tomatoes, sliced garlic, some fresh basil, our pureed Calabrian chilies, and some fresh grated Parmesan, Parmesan. cheese. Parmesan. Is that not? No, I shouldn't do that. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> the, the stare I got when I said Parmigiano. <laughs> oh man. Too much though. It's, the it's, flavor is good. Yeah, flavor is great. Got it here. It's right in the neck. <laughs> right now. Perfect. What do you guys think? How's it looking? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, paisanos. That's me. Whew. Just however, we guess go for it. Is there no? Is there a proper way to do this? You guys know how to eat pasta or what? No, paste, Just right? Just eat it. Okay, all right. Come on. Wait, is this like a Lady in the Tramp situation? Oh yeah, how do we, what if it's connected? Uh, What's gonna happen? That's cute. Am I allowed to say Mamma Mia? Am I, can no. I not do that? Mm -mm. How spicy is it? Mm. It's, it's like spicy perfect. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't want to kick me in the face, you know? But it's, it's got some heat. It's definitely not as spicy as it was mm. with just tasting the chili. Oh, not a, not even close. So you can get, kind of yeah. be pretty liberal with those chilies. Let All me right. get a taste. So why is it called arabia? Ara? Ara? Arabiata. 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 Right? It's the up on the ah. Arabiata. Arabiata means angry, so it's spicy. Uh, it's angry spaghetti. It's all about spice. It does have a nice little uh, spiciness in the background. It's got a good heat. Yeah, it's it's not. It doesn't kick in the face. It's subtle. You still get that basil flavor. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Alright, just man. gonna watch you. You're just gonna watch just slower. <laughs> I just need to taste it. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is always the best part of the cooking show when you're watching. You're like those sons of bitches. Mm -hmm. Look at them. Look at how happy they are. And now the tables have turned. Taste like childhood or what? Nothing in my childhood tastes like this. Yeah. <laughs> but if I had a childhood like this, I'd be a very happy individual. Well, mm -hmm. So pasta better as kids. <laughs> it's so much better. It's right so now. much better as adults. Steven, you bad man. Yeah. Happy to have you guys here. Mm. All right, well guys, we got a podcast to do. So we gotta get we gotta get out of here. We gotta wrap this up. Pasta arrabbiata, arrabbiata. Ah, this, this name is pissing me off. Yeah, it's a <laughs> do it, be man. Do it for the people. Do it. Why they not? want it. <laughs> I already ate mine. <laughs> Yeah, you're dying, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. The podcast is, I don't want to grow up. Finding the iTunes. They're clearly a bunch of clowns. Since this show is a lot about nostalgia too, it's a fun episode. We're going to talk about candy and snacks and stuff like that. So I'll leave a link down to the podcast. It's live now. Link in the description. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Yeah. It's I been get, a blast. I can get some of this to go. Yeah, we'll give you some of that to go. And all that. That's all that I have today. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.